Welcome back one more time. I think I will stop recording videos after this one. Yeah, we're still playing towns. I'm still number 12. And we have people to equip. Happiness is going up quite fast again. So let's see if we have. No, we almost have enough. Just a little bit more to do. And the final pieces of equipment are crafted right now. We can tell that because our crafting priority for items is higher than that for walls. And walls are all that's to be created here. At least it should be. Do we have any things here we don't want to have equipped? No, not, not quite. Sometimes there are special weapons, better weapons than usual, like uh, stone spears dropped by froggies or stone hammers, which you might want to save for an anvil. That would be auto-equipped, because it just picks out the best weapons around, and a stone hammer is better than a wooden sword. So, yeah, you need to be a bit careful there. And why isn't that last wooden breastplate going to uh, be finished? I think we need more farmers. Yeah, we need more wood. That's why our craftspeople are a bit lazy. Why they have time to be lazy. It's because they can't do anything about it. They don't have anything to work with. And this might actually get our tree farm completely farmed out as we would say because we are using our stuff quite fast can I see what he's doing here? Oh, yes he's building a wall ok I actually should have produced this breastplate first and not just now is it still being produced any, uh, at all? I'm wondering because it should be. Yes, it's still one job issued. This guy is. What's he building? Nothing. Okay, fine. We have three people we can auto equip. Guess I'll just save the last one for later so yeah this one's going to drop the uh, wheat there we go now she's picking it up again let's see where we will put those guys you will be carrying things you will be cooking things Once the last person has picked up. Oh, it looks like we now have everything we wanted. So you two go equip something and then we'll continue to assign people to job groups. Okay, the caravan panel stopped being highlighted. <laughs> That's nice too. I thought I had found a quite annoying bug. I'm happy I didn't. I don't like bugs. Okay, we had a cook and a carrying person, so... This guy shall start crafting and 
Let's just now where is he? Oh, he's not working now. I guess he was sleeping because that's one of the few things that isn't interrupted by auto equipping. Come on, get your stuff. Great. And now you will be a farmer. Okay. Haha, <laughs> our tree farm lasted. Granted, we still don't have any wood, do we? I don't think we have. No, we don't. So, would anyone mind going to get some wood? Pretty please? Guys, <coughs> we, we really need it. Oh, fine. See if the happiness is up. No, well, that's not. Okay, all the farmers are going fishing now. That's kind of silly, I guess. That's all. That's only three or four. I guess the fourth one is actually sleeping. Why is this person walking so slow? No, oh, zero happiness. Can't do anything about that. I would be, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do about it. All I can do is letting them have food and a place to sleep in and that. But if that's not enough, well, I can't do anything. And also, I'm going to do something pretty um, wasteful in a moment. I'm going to have the, uh, the masonry roofed with straw. That means we're going to burn through quite a lot of this uh, this wheat. Um, but I think we'll be fine, mostly because we don't need to necessarily bake things anymore. We have cooked fish. So thanks to that, we can... Oh, we already reassigned everybody. So thanks to that, we can actually survive without bread for a while. We might actually be a bit better off, since cooked fish is more fitting than bread or pie. But we might also lose a bit of happiness because it isn't as much variety as having fish and bread. And pie, of course. Also a lot of cake. Wonder why that is. Yeah, I suppose we'll just need more, uh, more cooks and bakers. Now we have quite a lot of jobs issued here. Which is not, we only have one cake and one apple pie that needs to be prepared. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> the tree farm had enough time to regrow. So we can finish our walls now. And we will finish this off with a straw roof. There you go. I think this... Yeah, the... Oh no, that has to go to the carpenter's bench. I didn't think it has to. I thought it could be just uh, crafted on the spot. Some things can be. Like a carpenter's table. I don't know if you paid attention to that in the first video, but the carpenter's table is just crafted on the spot from a log. It would be difficult to make it otherwise, because you don't start with one, and you couldn't make one otherwise. I 
be honest, I was quite happy that you don't need coal for every time you use a smelter because, let's face it, I would have used quite a lot of it right now. And we have three windows here, three windows here, six windows here, that's 12 already. And we're going to have one window in each of those rooms, which is another 10. And each of those, which is another 10. That's quite a lot of fuel to burn through, quite literally, actually. So, yeah, I'm happy with not having to use coal. Then again, iron is quite scarce in town, so I think it's more of the achievement to actually get to a smelter than it is to keep it going. There are games where making a smelter is quite easy, but you have to fuel every operation in it, and that's the hard thing. Again, my prime example for that being Dwarf Fortress, but it can be quite a nightmare to get all the coal you need to process the vast amounts of ores you can find. But you can build a smelter from any not burning stone, so <laughs> unless you don't try to build your smelter from coal, you can use whatever you find. And believe me, in Dwarf Fortress there is a lot of stone. If you don't try to settle above ground. But then again, which self respecting dwarf would do that? more roofs. Yeah, you can see the scaffolds are paying off already, because now people can't just walk over those walls and get off the building wherever they want to, now they have to go down here or here. I'm glad we have those three fields, <laughs> otherwise that roof might take quite a while and it might get us very close to starvation, but with those rather large fields for a beginning town, I think they are rather large for a beginning town. Um, yeah, we don't have any issues. There is always plenty of wheat growing. The only thing that might be a bit too small is actually this uh, fruit farm here. I think I made that a bit too small, especially for the, for the very beginning when we were mostly living on fruit. But it's also fine now because we don't have to rely on those uh, fruit anymore. And we got a lot better food now. crafters do we have now? We have four crafters. One more and we would have the... Why are those two just standing there? Oh, they don't have anything to do. Let's, let's fix that. You can start making windows. For those, because you can still walk on them. I don't have to place a bajillion scaffolds here and here and here yep now they have something to do as an added benefit we yeah we don't need that much wood or wheat for a while because those windows keep people busy as well Oddly enough, the windows, window itself is not crafted on the bench, it's just uh, the frame. The glass is put into it uh, wherever the glass is. Okay, we are now officially at 14 minutes and something, so I'm gonna cut the video here. And I I guess I'll, 
I just decided to record one more, so I'll see you in a moment.